Hertfordshire. I like this guy. Let's see what this says. So plenty of different birds, red squirrels. It's only half an hour away from Glasgow, which is awesome, you know? What are you doing, your mad bringer? Where are you going? So here we are, the Villa Forest. It's about an eight mile walk, encompasses about four wee lochs and it's in this uh, Scots pine forest which is really cool. There's a lot of tracks like these. There's also a lot of actual man-made paths and there's some little dirt paths that just now are pretty much waterlogged. It's really windy and exposed locations just now. It's about 4 degrees Celsius and wet, so pretty cold if you're out in exposed locations. So that's why I've chose just to do a wee hike around this cool forest here. And there's a wee bit of history about the place as well, which is awesome. I'll talk about that in a wee bit. But for now, let's get cracking. What's up there? Cracking wee picture down there. Some of the best work I've seen. This is really cool in here. God's sake. Oh nice. Check it out Moss. Hey, don't you be lying down. What are you looking for? See the birdies? Look, there's a the birdies over there. You're gonna go right off the deep end, aren't you? <laughs> You're going to go off the deep end. Right, right, right. Come on out of there, come on. You smell. Oh, cool. Really cool. Yeah, check it out. It's like a Yoda swamp in here. Isn't it? Pure Yoda swamp. Here she's coming, look. You doing a runner, aye? Where's your branch? Reminds me of that thing, Mind and Flash Gordon, the old film, and there's that big tree stump, and it's got hundreds of holes in it, and like, to show that you're dead brave and all that, you've got to stick your hand in one of the holes, and there's some sort of beastie that lives inside it, that, eh, uh, that's cool. What's that? Kestrel. You probably couldn't see it. Aye, there's some sort of beastie that lives inside it. And the warriors, all the warriors, what they have to do is stick their hand in. And basically, it's a show of bravery because when the beastie bites you, if it bites you, it's deadly and you die. It reminds me of that about here. Big stump honing like that. Oh, you know. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't do that in the film. That's not how it went. They didn't go, oh, into the stump. They just, I can't, I need to watch it now. Oh, you bastard! New rocks that scud it. There's another dead good picture here. So, what we have is kestrels up here and owls in here. Oh, this is the earthworks. This might be the actual Danish camp. They reckon the Vikings were here. So they do. Apparently this has been used for burials and such, this area, from way, way back. A lot of history. It's like some like 3400 BC or something. Kind of came off the track I was wanting to go because I wanted to see this earthworks. If you look over there, there's the water. 
mean, I doubt that was there back at the time. You never know though, might have been. So it's actually, that, that bit of water there, I was actually going to go around the other side, but that would have taken me away from these earthworks. And by the time, it's probably going to be dark by the time I get back, so I'm testing my new winter backpack. Uh, so I've literally got everything, including like three or four days worth of food, tent, sleeping bag, spare clothes, and the lot, everything. This is a new rain jacket as well. It's a rab. Oh no! Where are you going? What are you doing in there? That's the trail, by the way. Alright. Yoda swamp right enough. Eh. Uh, I think we'll backtrack and just go around the other side of the loch. I mean, I could breeze through it. So I could, or I could go up and look for a way, but it's quite wide. You know, I'm only, I'm not out for a big hike. We'll just go the other way though. It's not that far. And I was telling you about the backpack, so I've got my good head torch with me. Because this is all my winter gear. So we're all sorted. Be careful, Mozzie. That's quite an echo tree. Watch you. Pure uh, Blair Witch again. Anyone found interfering with the water will be prosecuted. Does that mean uh, taking a slash on it or what? You know what I mean? What's that mean? She would have to interfere with that quite a lot to do much damage to it. Unless you're a maniac putting batteries in it or something. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, it's alright, there's a wee, uh, this guy. Oh, moss! What the hell? Did she go right off the end? Right, Mon Run, can you not see it? She went right off the end! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fail! Did you go right off the end? <laughs> oh dear. Is that your pack all wet now? <laughs> Oh no! I so check this out about the old witchcraft. So between March and October 1597, there was a great witch hunt in Scotland, instigated by James VI. And according to the survey of Scottish witchcraft, more than 3,800 people, both men and women, were accused of witchcraft in Scotland during the period 1563 to 1736, which is when the Witchcraft Act was enforced in Scotland, and it believes two thirds of that 3,800 folk were actually executed, burnt alive and all manner of stuff I can imagine. And uh, apparently about here, there's this thing called Maggie Duncanstain, and uh, the legend that gave this boulder its name was almost lost. Fortunately, local historians Bob and Meg Smith were loaned an old postcard of the story by a neighbour. This legend was on the reverse side. Maggie Duncan was apparently a witch who lived in the area in the 17th century. One day she attempted to carry a stone to the top of a hill cupped in her apron, but the approach was too great and the stone grew too heavy, so she dropped it and her apron strings cut deep grooves into the stone and that those are the marks that can still be seen today and there's something else about witches jumping off stones and all that to fly about here and apparently as well kind of unrelated but there's a plague there's a couple of plague graves of kids about here somewhere so all in all it's kind of could be a bit spooky if you're into stuff like that you know what i mean come up here on Halloween, crap it. What are you doing? Are you crapping it? Anyway, that's the rain off, again. Moustache has got it in all that weather there. So here's the other bit of water that's mentioned. That lens, a wee bit fogged up. Steamy from the body heat. That lens is about the only thing that's getting that. Then now, hold on a minute, it's raining again. Any use of bother with like your waterproof sliding down all the time? It's because I've got in the arse. 
there's nothing for the waistband to like cinch into. If I pull them up above my hip bone, they're too short. If I put them at the normal height, they slide down and eventually expose my my airs. What's this what's your stone? It's like I need an arse transplant or something. A shelf for them to catch on, you know? On their way down they get snagged on it. Stop my kegs falling down. Dead annoying. Anyway, I'm moaning about my arse. No having a, a ledge for my waterproof to grip on, so I'll shut up. There, that's called Paper Mill Dam, apparently. Paper Mill Dam. That looks like the path's down there. This chap. Did I tell you we're in Davila Forest, aye? I think I did. I don't know what this wind noise is going to be like, by the way. I've tried to modify the mic in this. Mountain bike guys, I think. By the way, I'm not a total spanner. I could do my hood up better. So it didn't flop about, but... This is how I'm rolling the day. Who are you going up there for? Oh, what's that? What's that the day? Well, it turns out I was too busy blethering. And that wasn't the turning. So we're now on this. At a track that's not actually marked on the map. So that's good. That's good. For the fading light, can yeah? Some of this here. For us. Oh, is that yon witch's stone? Oh, it's a bit of an old building. Are you doing staying out here? Oh, here, this better no go all that Blair Witchy on me, by the way. I've only got the Swissy ways. Ooh. Don't say that too loud, what with these witches about and all that. Do you know what? It's, I keep hearing what sounds like a car driving up behind me. It's kind of spooky. <gasps> Like that. Right, anyway. It's just by the rain, the trees. There's another old cottage. Chimney sort of looks like it's in. Let us know if you see any red eyes peering out for the forest of hunters when I'm walking along. <gasps> I'll give you some of that right to its cooking. Okay. So that's us almost at the car park. Back to the old uh, dusty bin. So just remember if you're out in the woods where a legend would have it, witches jumped about and all that, don't fear the reaper, man. There's my pants falling down again, come on. Unsurprisingly, nobody else left in the car park. Right, you going home for your dinner? Sorry, that's a good wee afternoon hike. Bit of water, some rivers, cool trees. Yeah, well worth it and only half an hour from Glasgow.